Now to new developments in the trial of a Spokane Valley man accused of manslaughter and the shooting death of his wife. That trial has come to a close. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. The state has one more witness to call in the case against Dwayne Thurman before the defense opened its case. Thurman told investigators that he shot his wife Brenda back in January of 2016, but told them it was an accident, that he was cleaning his gun at the time, that it accidentally went off. He pleaded not guilty to manslaughter. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke has been in the courtroom all week long. She joins us now live with an update on the trial. Caroline? Nadine, we've heard from about nine or ten people in the last two days of testimony as prosecutors lay out their case for the jury. Their next witness is unavailable until Monday, so we'll have to wait until then to hear more testimony in this case. The jury received strict instructions from Judge Timothy Fennessy this morning. It's essential to a fair trial that everything you learn about this case comes to you in this courtroom and only in this courtroom. The trial of Dwayne Thurman in recess until the start of next week. Jurors asked to make it through the weekend without discussing any trial details. You must not allow yourself to be exposed to outside information about this case, including from your family and friends. This week, those jurors have heard from witnesses who were present the day Brenda Thurman died, including her daughter, who drove to the hospital, and deputies who spoke with Dwayne Thurman there later that morning. Today, the court heard from the investigators who were sent to the shooting scene to document it. The jury was shown an array of photos that captured the Thurman's kitchen table as it looked at the time Brenda Thurman was shot. There are several gun cleaning. There's a, an ammo box, a metal ammo box with gun cleaning equipment in it. Dwayne Thurman, who has pleaded not guilty to first degree manslaughter, told investigators in that on the morning of January 18, 2016, he was disassembling and cleaning the guns he and his wife had taken to the shooting range the day before. There's an open firearms hard case, uh, and in that are two disassembled, well, one disassembled and one unloaded um, firearm on that box, a teal colored Glock and a black uh, polymer frame Glock. The teal Glock was Brenda's, given to her by her husband as a birthday gift. It's that gun that Thurman said went off unexpectedly and fatally struck his wife. In court yesterday, a firearms expert testified for the state that the same gun worked as designed without defect when he tested it. When the trial does resume, we'll hear from the state's witness, and then it will shortly be the defense's turn to call its own list of witnesses, which, according to the case file, currently includes Dwayne Thurman. In studio, Caroline Rourke, KXOI4 News. All right, thank you, Caroline.